Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm with Tumblers in the Making and real quick before I jump into tutorial of the butterfly tutorial part three, I want to go ahead and show you how you can avoid having paint inside your cup. Mm. And it's pesty sometimes. So pesty that some of us actually have a hard time trying to remove it. How do you remove it? Hmm, there's several ways. One of the ways is actually with goof off. Goof off. Goof off works too. You could use a magic eraser. The tone works too. You just gotta leave it on a little bit longer. For that part, all you need to do is just soak it. Soak it in like a rag or maybe a cotton ball. Leave it there for a little bit. If that doesn't work, then guess what? You can toss it. No, you don't toss it. But you definitely want to go ahead and use something to try and remove it, right? If all three fails, then you need to go ahead and scrub it. You can use this with this. Not necessarily this. I think my son threw away my, my Brillo pads by accident in the trash. That's probably why I can't find it. So how can I avoid so I don't have to go through this? So how, how, how can I avoid getting paint inside my cup? This works good. Dollar store. These work pretty well too. Take your pick. Oh, and one of these too. Just leave it off from the top a little bit. Just like this. Just like that. Don't forget to put the tape on. Did somebody mention tape? I got tape right here. Anybody? Okay, that's enough teaching. Let's get back to where we need to be at. All right, let's get back to business. Now we're almost done with the tumbler. What we need to do now is, first I definitely need to go ahead and make the name of the person, but I didn't do that just yet, and I will. Um, we're gonna do the outer lines of the borders uh, with a, I used a holographic pink purplish color which matches the colors of the tumbler perfectly. Um, at this point, I am having a hard time trying to remove it right now. But if you've seen part one, it teaches you on what you should do for the border. Um, you're going to have to have it sliced pretty much in half in order to get the design around that shape. Um, and I should have mentioned this in part two, which I completely forgot, is that when you do your cheap vinyl decal, um, as a stencil you want to make it shorter from rim to rim you don't want those tip points those each each side tip points to touch the rims of the cup so you want to minimize it um, in order to get the decal not to overlap the lip of the uh, the rim of the tumbler um, that's going to be difficult uh, I made it happen God thank you God, I made it happen, uh, or I would have had a big mess in my hand. I would have to start all over. So you guys don't do the same mistake. Um, just shrink it from end to end of that decal. Just shrink it slightly. And that way your outer border decal, uh, which is what I'm pulling now, it, it, it won't overlap the lip of the rim and the bottom of that rim, and it'll come out perfect. All right, so this is my trial and error part two. I've actually did the first one intact. That didn't work out. So I had to redo another decal, the outer border decal. And I'm trying to place it on here. I just want you guys to see what happens if you do the whole outer border intact without cutting it. So that didn't work out because of the glitter kind of compressed a little bit inwards it was a little difficult so what i did is that on the second trial and error i went ahead and cut the bottom um, in half the problem with this is that the other side did not connect as you can see it couldn't connect so that was a no-go and then the more i pulled it the worse the decal started becoming it started become very it became very frail 
and it would still it would stick but it wasn't quite how would I say when you mess with the foil it starts to have the creasings in into the, the hollow so that was a big mess for me and you can see me trying over and over trying to see how close to that border or that edge that I can get so I can get close to that bottom so I'm glad that I'm showing you guys this so you can see what will happen if you do either one the full um, intact outer border or you cut it in half at the bottom just so that you don't have to mess with the top too much <laughs> which um, of course that didn't work out either <laughs> it wouldn't touch so yeah I I was ready to quit right here um, but I kept trying I was like no let me try let me try of course everybody wants to continue trying and see if we can still get it right but again I just wanted to show you guys what will happen and as you can see it's a big mess it's a big 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 mess and nothing seems to work and the more that you pull on it or try to fit it because you know sometimes we all tend to lay it down and we'll pull to lay it down yeah that's what I did and so it turned it into a curly fry yeah it wasn't working for me so I, I accidentally broke it on the top and that's where my idea came from right there I was like oh you know what I can go ahead and cut it in half and and just do one side and do the other side except try to get it a little bit more elongated to where it can cross over so that part I'm gonna show you now okay so this is number three trial and error um, as you can see this is where uh, you know I redid the whole scenario on the Cricut and sliced it in half and then I noticed that the um, the decal was taking up too much space on my vinyl and you guys should know me just slightly where I kind of like to save my pennies so I went ahead and cut it in half and placed them all opposite end and you guys always remember which way is up and which way is down <laughs> that's another trick um, so I did it this way and I was able to save a lot of vinyl because of that so once I placed it on there I noticed it was working I was like yes it's working the only problem is there's that tip the top of that that lip oh I wish I didn't place it so high I should never had like made those ends touch the rim I should have kept it a little bit closer but it was working it was really really working now I did have to pull up a few times um, only because I wanted it perfect but it worked so this is your go-to right here is to cut it in half in order for it to fit and then use your exacto knife to cut now if you've seen this tumbler before somewhere in a post on Facebook I've actually posted this tumbler only in one place and that is Jessica Flynn's Facebook page I am a fan of Jessica Flynn <laughs> I've actually learned this little trick from her um, not with this design but how she cuts the borders with the exacto knife um, so I kind of got that idea from her um, and I want to thank her for that so you guys check out Jessica Flynn on her YouTube tutorial page it is awesome you guys can learn so much from her um, the little tips and tricks it, it's pretty cool but of course there's other YouTube channels out there with wonderful teachers that have great ideas um, you guys should definitely do a search and tumblers and you can find a lot of different cool ideas to do 
Okay, so we're gonna do the other side and I'm gonna go a little faster on this video so that way you guys can see, but at the same time, kind of get it done and over with because I, I had a hard time um, trying to align it just right. But don't give up, please don't give up. It will come out as long as you cut them in half, it'll come out just fine. But look how pretty it came out. Now make sure that you guys don't stretch that vinyl like I did with the second trial and error where it turned into a curly fry. So at the half point, I was worried that I wasn't going to meet with the other half. So I did start to, started to stretch it out a bit. Okay, so we're getting to the edges. You wanna use your X-Acto knife and kind of align that edge like straight you want to basically picture the letter V so that's what I was going for here but my knives my exacto knives were not so sharp so I had to use my scissors to help me cut straight straight onto the sides um, so that way it can look like that V and then the top of course I had to cut the very top because it overlapped that rim that I told you about now you guys get to see the opposite end and this way i mean this side is actually better to see from the camera angle um you can see every single detail um look at the that ridge that tip of my borderline is over the lip of that rim that's why i want you guys um, to shrink it down just a little bit and then this time around, I know not to stretch that vinyl. There is an instance where I felt I had to stretch it. <laughs> but honestly, when you pull it, um, the adhesive makes it that much difficult if you have to kind of bring it up. You have no choice but to stretch it slightly. But it worked out. Now keep in mind that when you do your glitters and you epoxy it, make sure you sand it down very well. So that way it doesn't show on that vinyl because then it once you epoxy it and you finish it off, you will see the bumps on that vinyl. Um, you can tell it's the glitter, it's not sanding down properly. So once you work your way around there, the top, obviously you're aligning it perfectly. The bottom, however, you're going to have to overlap the other side of that decal. And then you're gonna use your X-Acto knife and cut straight along the edge. So that way you get a perfect V shape at the bottom. Hopefully your X-Acto knife is super sharp. You don't have to push down so hard. I had to. And then once you get along that line, use the tip of your X-Acto knife to remove the pieces. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rim of my cup. And as you can see, I have a lot of mess going on in that rim. One thing I do wanna tell you is when you clean the inside of your cup, if you notice any big parts of epoxy, big chunks of epoxy, use the tip of your X-Acto knife and get in there and pop it outwards. Don't scrape it along because you will see scrape marks inside of that cup. Now, one thing I will suggest is using the wood burning tool. Um, actually, I came to my mom's nearest Walmart and I found a wood burning tool that had the X-Acto knife type blade attached to it and it didn't come with the extra small pieces that usually come with the wood burning tool. So I really suggest this purchase if you can find it some walmart's carry it in their craft stores some some don't like my nearest walmart doesn't so i was shocked to even find it it, it was a godsend um so i purchased it and it works awesome like you guys it makes it so much easier just to melt that um epoxy away and when you melt that I've noticed that the epoxy stays adhered to the cup. It keeps it uh, as if it was like it seals back onto the rim of the cup. All right, so the next thing is my favorite part besides the glitter is the decal of the person's name. So I'm, I'm really excited of doing this. Now, um, this font funny so funny how I came across this font 
Um, I found it on dafont.com. Um, and I believe it's called Allure. It is free to download. I believe it may have a personal use only, not commercial. Don't quote me on that. I don't remember what it, uh, what the rules were set for that, but it definitely is gorgeous. And uh, this was a personal use type cup. So I didn't mind to go ahead and say where I got this font, but dafont.com under Allure. It is beautiful. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to position this perfectly. I wanna make sure that the lines on each end of the name fits perfectly on the ends. It was a little tricky, but I got it done. And then lucky me turned off the camera and I completely forgot to turn it back on in adding the name of the decal. So you're gonna see me kind of swoop by this, this part of the video pretty fast. So this is the finishing product. I needed about one more layer of epoxy on this one. But look how pretty that decal came out. See, the holographic really works well with this, with the colors that I added on onto this tumbler. It fit perfectly. The uh, customer definitely enjoyed this cup. And that ombre, oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. And that's it for now. Now, if you have any questions or concerns on anything that I've done here, please drop a comment or go to my Facebook page and message me or uh, post it and I'll reply as soon as possible. But if you guys created this tumbler and put a spin on it, please share it with me. I would love to see your creativity and what you've done with this tumbler. Thank you for watching. Up next are Groups, Tumblers, Creativities.